Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101, and I'd like to welcome you to another segment of RV 101, Understanding Your RV. Today's topic is chalking trailer wheels. It's important to always remember when you disconnect the trailer from the tow vehicle, there are no brakes to hold the trailer. That's why the first step is to always chalk the trailer wheels before disconnecting the tow vehicle. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with safety. Regardless of the type of wheel chalks you use, try to avoid chalking the wheels on a loose road surface and never chalk the trailer on a grade or incline. With that said, let's look at some different types of wheel chalks. Some folks simply take a piece of 2 by wood and place it in front of or behind the tire. This is not an effective wheel chalk. Then there is your very basic plastic wheel chalk. The problem with this type of chalk is it can slide on the ground surface because the plastic has no way to grip the road surface. If you look at the bottom of this plastic chalk, you will notice a strip of rubber. The rubber is used to give the plastic chalk better traction and attempt to avoid slipping or moving. Next, you have chalks that are incorporated into the wheel blocks. These are nice chalks and if used properly will do a good job securing the trailer from moving. I think most trailer owners understand how important it is to chalk the trailer wheels, but the question is, are you chalking the wheels properly and safely? This is why it's best to place a chalk in front of and behind the tire to ensure the trailer cannot move in either direction. As you can see, there are lots of different types of wheel chalks and several different ways to employ them. Personally, I like to know the trailer is chalked properly every time and not have to be concerned about it at all. To do that, I use a wheel chalk system that locks both wheels securely in place every time. This one is by Fastway Trailer Products, and an added benefit of this wheel chalk is that it helps stabilize the trailer with virtually no wheel movement during your camping trip. To use the chalks, you simply remove the center cotter pin and clevis pin from the arms. Set the chalks between the tires and extend them out until the wedges touch both tires. Slide the clevis pin into one of the holes in the arms to temporarily hold them in place, but don't insert the cotter pin yet. Remove the chalks and remove the clevis pin, then slide the arms apart until the next set of holes line up. Put the clevis pin through the aligned holes and install the cotter pin to secure it. Now just slide the chalks into position between the tires so that the wedges are centered on the tread of the tire. Step down on the center of the arms to force them out against the tires and lock them into place. When the chalk is installed, it prevents the trailer tires from moving in either direction. To remove the chalks, grasp the handle firmly in the middle and pull upward. To lock the chalk, step the chalk into place tightly between the wheels. Place the padlock through one of the empty holes in the center of the arms or through one of the lock holes in the wedges just above the scissor arms. The lock is to be used as a theft deterrent. The lock will not guarantee the chalks cannot be stolen. If used correctly, these chalks will ensure the trailer tires are secured every time. And as I mentioned earlier, they help stabilize the trailer from moving too. There are lots of types of wheel chalks on the market. What's important is you get chalks that can properly do the job of securing the trailer and that you install them properly. Oh, and don't forget, remove the wheel chalks prior to towing the trailer. Happy camping.